So here's the uh, mock-up file that I was talking about in my previous videos in parts 1 and 2 of the uh, ornament design tutorials for the baby's first Christmas ornaments. This is a file that I purchased off of Etsy from Style Creative Mockups. Style Product Mockups, sorry. They have some of the best mockups I've seen. They're all the Photoshop mockups with uh, smart objects and they come out looking so realistic and so perfect every time. That's my go-to for mock-up files. I'm fully capable of creating my own mock-up files, but I'm some most of the time just don't have the time. So there's a lot of things you can customize in this mock-up. Um, first thing you can customize, we have some foreground branches here. You can adjust the size of those. You can turn them on or off. Uh, you can actually rotate this and place it elsewhere on your file if you like. So you can just drag this over here and put it here like that if you want. Uh, a lot of things you can do with this. It's your artwork, it's your design, it's your creative vision so you can do whatever you want with it. And important to remember when you're doing uh, customized work uh, based on your own ideas don't ever let anybody tell you that what you're doing is wrong or it doesn't look good or whatever. Whatever looks good to you is good, believe me. People have told me, oh, I think you should do this, I think you should do that. You know what? No, I shouldn't. I'll do it the way I want. Okay, so another thing you can customize on this is the ribbon color. So if you want to change that ribbon color, just double click on the little icon where it says change ribbon color. And you'll get a little uh, bunch of dialogues come up there. I don't know why you get all this come up. It's just the way mine is set up, I guess. So you can just drag that and make it however you like. Uh, pink or blue would be good for um, baby's first Christmas ornament if you have to go buy a ribbon. I buy all my uh, Benelux ornament blanks direct from the manufacturer in China and I buy them by the caseload like thousands at a time and it always comes with a load of red ribbon. But there's some cases where you won't want red ribbon and you'll have to go and buy a ribbon at the fabric store. So pink or blue, whatever you like. You can just uh, slide that around and get what you want there for your mock-up. We're going to stick with the red right now because red is what we have and red is what we sell. Okay, let's close up these little dialogues here. Uh, basic ribbon. You can turn that on or off. I don't know of a circumstance where you'd want to turn it off because you like to display your ornament with the ribbon on it. Uh, they also have a gold ribbon. It's pretty cool. Uh, they also include a rope. So it's pretty inclusive uh, if you want to hang, sell your ornaments with a little rope to hang them. It's already there. Uh, image area. That's just the um, basic layout, basic template for the shape of the ornament. This little background branches here, you can drag that up over top of the ornament. I don't know why you want to do that. I just leave that where it is. You can turn it on or off. It's a bit blurry. It's very realistic because it's like further away, so that's why it's blurry. Uh, background image. If you want to take a picture of your own Christmas tree, you can place that in the background. And you can have your ornament hanging on anything you want. You can go out in the woods and take a picture of an uh, evergreen tree with some snow on it. Use that if you like. Whatever you like. So we got our basic ribbon. So what we're going to do now is upload our image. Uh, we're going to put our both of our baby's first Christmas ornament designs onto this uh, mock-up template. So to do this, we find a smart layer. It says click icon to add art. So we're going to double click on that. When we do, it's going to open up another file. And you can see that it has the actual shape of the Benelux ornament here. We're just going to grab our pink with gold and penguin ornament, the one we did first in part one. And we're going to hit control A. And that's going to give you the little selection dots around the edge. Control A. So uh, control shift C. That'll select and copy all the layers of this ornament. 
So we're going to go back into our image.psv file. We're going to hit Control V to paste. And again, you see that it doesn't fill out the entire space, so we want to go corner to corner. It has to fill out the entire space here. And if you've got to drag it a little bit more than necessary, well, it is necessary. If you want to drag it beyond the edges so that you can cover everything, that's perfect. That's not going to matter one little bit. So once you drag it out to where you need it, you just hit Enter. And now you hit Save. So for Save, I just hit Control S. And let's go back into our mock-up file now. There we go. There's our little uh, baby's first Christmas ornament. I think it's adorable. Uh, bound to be a bestseller on your website or on your Facebook page. Guaranteed. So again, that one's in uh, my Etsy store. Link in the description below. Next, we're going to get our little boy ornament and make a mock-up of that. But before we do, I'm going to save this mock-up because this is going right straight onto my website. And we're going to say, save as, save on your computer, uh, baby's first Christmas girl. i got a couple of those. I don't know how Peggy's Cove got in here. <laughs> uh, pink, gold, penguin, baby's first Christmas. And that's what you're going to see if you go on the Etsy store. We're going to save that as a PNG file. Oh, we're going to also cut, make sure we put math up in here. So it's easier when I'm uploading this day. Okay. Save that. Alrighty. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to double click this again. Go back in here. Click on this one. Hit delete because we don't want that in there anymore. Sometimes I don't delete them and I have like 20 piled on top of one another. The only one that's going to show up in your mock-up is actually the very top one. But it causes your file to be much larger than necessary and clogs it up and makes the computer slow down and whatnot. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this uh, ornament design mock-up. And we're going to hit Control A, Control Shift C. Go back into your image.psb file. Hit Control V. Drag your, let's zoom out, let's hit control minus minus. So let's zoom this out and we'll just drag it up to the corners. Make sure all the top edges are covered and it goes beyond all the edges just a teeny weeny little bit. Okay, hit enter. Click off of it, hit control S and it's saved. Now you go back to your mock-up file and here's your beautiful little baby boy mock-up. Uh, sorry, baby boy ornament. And I have a goof on this. Remember I told you how you shouldn't put things too close to the edge. Well, I put Baby's First Christmas too close to the edge. So i got to go back in and modify this file. And I'm going to drag this. I'm going to click on Baby's First Christmas. And I'm going to drag it over. And I don't really like that. How are we going to do that? Let's look at this again. Maybe the picture needs to go over too. The picture could go over a tiny bit. Okay, we're going to rework this. Let's drag this over. No, we can't drag the picture over because the hole is already in the space. Uh, let's just click here. We'll make this two lines instead of three. How's that? I wonder. And we can also make this a tiny little bit smaller. There. Now that should not overlap. Should not go over the edge. Okay. We'll try this again. We'll hit Control A, Control Shift C. Go in here. Get rid of this. Paste this in here. Control V. Drag it out. Enter. Control S to save and back to your mock-up file. Very much better. You see that it doesn't overlap the edges here. Totally adorable. 
Okay, if you put these on your website or your Facebook page, uh, bound to be a bestseller. I can guarantee you. Alrighty. So that's how you use the uh, Benelux Ornament uh, Mock-Up Fall from Stall Product Mock-Ups, available on Etsy. I encourage you to go on to her site. Uh, I don't know the lady. I am not receiving any compensation for promoting her stuff, except for a little uh, few cents I'll get if you purchase it through the affiliate link in the description below. Uh, other than that, I do encourage you to go on to her site and check out all her stuff because it's totally awesome. Any uh, sublimation product that you do, you most likely can find a mock-up file for it on her site. So that's it for part three of our uh, ornament tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'd encourage you to uh, subscribe to our channel and click the bell no uh, I click the bell icon so you can be informed of any future uh, videos.